Almost all of our body is covered with hairs, even if we don't notice them. They grow even in the belly button. Their purpose is to catch lint. Check it out, see? A single human hair can support 3.5 ounces of weight. That's how much two candy bars weigh. Our hair color is easily explained by genes. There's not more than 2% of people with natural red hair. They're followed by blondes and by all the varieties of brown shades. The vast majority goes to black hair, including very dark brown. Yeah, your hair can stop growing at a certain length. A hair usually grows from 2 to 7, so usually it doesn't exceed 42 inches. Well, tell that to this gal from China, who broke all the hair records with the longest hair ever. In 2004, her hair was 18 feet, 5 and a half inches long. With age, your hair loses its natural color. It happens because keratin receives less pigment. As people grow older, the pigment cells in their hair follicles gradually vanish, and hair becomes gray. Some time passes and no pigment is produced at all. That's when hair turns white. The only part of the human body that doesn't get any nutrients from blood is the cornea of the eye. Instead, it's fed by tears and fluid in front of your eyes. A human eye has some resemblances to a car engine. They both need various liquids to perform properly. An engine needs gasoline and an eye needs tears. In order to work well, the tears should be thoroughly distributed all over the eye. That's why we blink up to 20,000 times a day. So, a lid is a bit of a windshield washer. We've got two really fast muscles. They control the eyelid closing. They're the fastest muscles in our body. Eyes are fragile and need protection. That's why when the reflex is triggered, these muscles shut the eyes within about 100 milliseconds. No more than 0.1 seconds. We recognize only purple-blue, green-yellow, and yellow-red colors. Everything else is a combination of these three. It's impossible to calculate how many of these combinations the human eye sees because every single person has slight vision differences. But it's about one millionth combinations on average, you see? The inability to distinguish colors, also known as color blindness, affects around 8% of males and 0.5% of females. But colors themselves aren't as stable and objective as they might seem. Multiple tests have shown that people experience colors differently, depending on many factors such as geographical location, language, and gender, to name a few. It means that you can enjoy the same sunset with your friend and see completely different colors without even knowing it. Just like fingerprints, your eye color is unique. It can even affect the way you perceive light and make your vision one of a kind. To understand how this is possible, you got to figure out how the eye color is formed. This is the iris, the colored part of the eyeball. The iris contains pigmentation, and its content determines what eye color you have. Every human has a slightly different amount of pigmentation. That's why you won't find two people with identical eye colors. Three specific genes in your body are responsible for melanin levels and determine pigmentation. Blue and green-eyed people have less melanin in their iris, and those who have more melanin have darker eye colors, like brown and hazel. Some rare people have beautiful deep black eyes, but this is only an optical illusion caused by the abundance of melanin. Pure black iris doesn't exist in nature. Although these eyes look very dark, they're actually dark brown. Studies have proved that eye pigmentation impacts your vision. No matter how dark or light your eye color is, people with lighter eye colors are more sensitive to light, which may cause them to feel uncomfortable on sunny days. If you have a light eye color and have to squint when you go outside, don't forget to put on sunglasses. Your irises contain less pigment that serves as protection from the sun's rays. But since melanin acts like natural sunglasses, you have better night vision compared to dark-eyed people. On the contrary, if you have a darker eye color, your eyes can cope with bright light better during the daytime. Dark-eyed people should feel more confident while driving at night because they don't get blinded by car headlights that much. Your peripheral vision is almost completely black and white. 
It's because you have more color-detecting cones in the center of your retina than at the sides. Women can distinguish more colors than men because they have two X chromosomes, and men only have one. Even if something is wrong with one of the chromosomes, a woman can still see colors correctly. That's why women are rarely colorblind. There must be at least some photos where you have red eyes. When the camera flash goes off, your eyes aren't prepared for such an influx of light. Your pupils remain dilated, which is why the light gets reflected off the red blood cells of the choroid. This is a layer of tissue at the back of your eye that nourishes your retina. The weird-looking flies you see right in front of your eyes every now and then are eye floaters. You see them because of tiny structural imperfections in one particular part of the eye that gets in the way of light. They get worse with age. You spend 10% of the time when you're awake with your eyes closed. It's all those times you're blinking. Humans are capable of using echolocation like bats and dolphins. With some training, you can find your way in complete darkness analyzing the surroundings by sounds bouncing off objects. Don't need to practice that. About 6% of people can vibrate and rapidly shake their eyeballs back and forth. It doesn't mean something's not right with their eyes, it's just a unique trick they can perform. The main purpose of eyelashes is to shield your eyes and protect them from sand, moisture, dust, and debris in the air. Your eyelashes sense when something comes up too close to your eyes, like an insect flying towards you, and trigger your blink reflex. Blinking also helps when you need to flush out some tiny particles or debris stuck in your puncta. Those are small openings you have in your eyelids. That's where the tears get pumped out. Your eyebrows stop sweat from running directly into your eyes. Your skin there and the shape of your bones also work together to direct the sweat towards the sides of your face. Onions produce a special chemical irritant. It stimulates special glands in your eyes, causing them to release tears. The nose is probably one of the most underappreciated parts of the body. We wouldn't even be able to enjoy eating without it. About 80% of the taste of any food is thanks to the nose and its ability to recognize odors. If you hold your nose while eating, you will taste almost nothing. With no sense of smell, you're likely to recognize food mostly by texture, so an onion might seem no different than a big, refreshing apple. Scientists used to believe we could distinguish about 10,000 smells, but they were wrong. Recent research showed that people are actually able to distinguish between more than a trillion smells. We also remember them better than anything else, and smells can even evoke some distant memories. Your nose doesn't just help you breathe and catch odors. It filters the air for sensitive throats and lungs. If we inhale dry air, the nose moistens it, cools it, and heats it if necessary. Also, the nose cleans the air of dirt. Your nostrils don't work with the same efficiency all the time. When you breathe, one nostril does most of the work, and they switch every couple of hours. 18% of people can move both ears at the same time, while 22% can move one ear at a time. People who can do it use weak vestigial muscles we got from our ancestor humans, who had this trait in common with cats. Some people can produce a roaring noise in their heads. All they have to do is tense their ears or jaws. There's a small muscle in the ear. It dampens loud sounds, like when you're chewing. But some people can flex that muscle, and that creates an audible rumble. Your teeth are the only part of your body that cannot heal itself. Up, uh, the phone's ringing. Must be something urgent. At 11 p.m.? Only all the gadgets in the house are silent. It's your ears that are ringing. You can also hear some hissing, whistling, buzzing, and even roaring. But all this noise doesn't have an external source. Ooh, That's why it's known as phantom sounds. They can occur in one or both ears, constantly or from time to time. They're usually most noticeable at night when nothing distracts you. Hearing noise in your ears is called tinnitus. It's quite common and affects 15-20% to of people. Tinnitus starts in the part of your inner ear shaped like a snail. It's called the cochlea. 
Your middle ear picks up sound waves. They get translated into electrical impulses in the inner ear. Then, sensory nerves carry these impulses to your brain. If your inner ear works incorrectly, your brain can misinterpret the sounds. Tinnitus occurs when there are some changes in the cochlea's nerve. They can be caused by loud noise, like chainsaws, jackhammers, loud music, or shouting. Tinnitus can start after a head, neck, or ear injury, or after you begin to take certain medications. You can also hear ringing in your ears if you have some blood pressure issues. Elsewhere, in the amazing human body, some of the bacteria living in your gut can produce electricity. Shocking! They give off electrons, and this creates tiny electrical currents. That's likely to be the bacteria's backup system, their way to generate energy. Humans are the only animals that have chins. Even our closest genetic relatives, gorillas and chimps, lack this small piece of bone that extends forward from the jaw. Their lower jaws slant down and back from their front teeth. Scientists still haven't figured out this mystery. The opinions about why people are made this way differ. Some researchers think chins help us chew our food. Others are sure they have something to do with speaking. A few of us think it's simply a special place to grow a goatee. Blinking keeps your eyes clean and moist. But that's not all. Every time you blink, you take a micro-nab. Researchers from Washington University have found out that blinking makes your attention sharper and works as a teeny recharge. Ever seen tiny dots traveling in squiggly lines, especially when you're looking at a bright blue sky? These dots are only visible for a second or so and might look like itty-bitty worms. Those are your white blood cells moving through the capillaries in front of the retina. That's the light-sensitive tissue at the back of your eyes. Curiously, most people don't even notice the dots unless asked to pay attention. The pineal gland in your brain handles the production of melatonin. That's the very hormone that regulates your sleep patterns. The gland looks like a pine nut, and that's how it got its name. The human brain is 73% water, and the same is true about the heart. That's why if your brain loses even 2% of liquid, you start to feel tired. It also makes your memory worse, shortens your attention span, and puts a dampener on your mood. By the way, your brain makes sure you don't drink too little or too much water. After you swallow some liquid, your mouth and throat start to fire signals to your brain, telling it to stop drinking. Otherwise, you'd be gulping down water for the entire 10-60 to 60 minutes it takes the liquid to get to your cells. Your eyes can see something for a mere 13 milliseconds, and your brain will already process this image. For comparison, the average blink lasts from 100 to 400 milliseconds. Even though the tongue isn't the strongest muscle in your body, it never gets tired. That's because of the way it's built. It's made up of 8 interwoven muscles. But unlike other muscles in your body, these aren't situated around a supporting bone. The tongue structure is similar to an elephant's trunk or an octopus's tentacles. Your body emits visible light. Uh, that's why they call me Sunny. <laughs> you're the brightest at 4 p.m. and your glow is the least visible at 10 a.m. Unfortunately, this glowing is a thousand times less intense than what your eyes can see. Sweat is mostly water mixed with proteins, sugars, ammonia, and a lot of other stuff. It even contains tiny amounts of trace metals, like copper, zinc, nickel, iron, and so on. What makes sweat taste salty is the sodium it contains. Plus, the more salt you eat, the saltier your sweat is. Your body's trying to get rid of the excess, and the fastest way is to sweat it out. In an adult, the blood makes up 7-8% of the total body weight. About 55% of your blood is liquid plasma. The rest is red and white blood cells and platelets. They form clots and prevent bleeding. You can't swallow and breathe at the same time. The food you swallow and the air you breathe go down the same part of your throat at first. Only a bit deeper, the passage splits into the esophagus for food and liquid and trachea for air. When you swallow, your airway gets automatically closed off. This prevents you from accidentally inhaling food. But occasionally, it still happens. Your brain sometimes generates more than 48 thoughts in just one minute. 
That's almost 3,000 thoughts per hour and 69,000 per day. Fingernails grow faster on the dominant hand. If you use your right hand more, you'll have to trim nails on it more often. Fingernails also grow more quickly in the summer and during the day. You might keep in memory up to 10,000 different faces. Sure, it varies from person to person, and the average number is 5,000. It doesn't mean you can put a name to each of these faces. It's only about recognizing the features. Now, you might try to hide the truth, but your nose will always give you away. When a person tells a lie, the temperature around their nose and in the inner corners of their eyes goes up. This phenomenon is known as the Pinocchio effect. Women have more taste buds on the surface of their tongues than men do. It's one of the reasons why 35% of ladies and only 15% of guys are super tasters. Those are people who feel flavors more strongly than others. Your teeth are the only part of your body that can't repair itself. But the enamel they're covered with is one of the toughest things in the human body. Your heartbeat often syncs with the music you're listening to. If a piece has a continuous increase in volume or tempo, like rock, it can make your heart rate faster. Some classic music lowers heart rate and blood pressure. This phenomenon affects everyone, from professional musicians to amateurs and music lovers. There are 2 to 5 million sweat glands on your body. The sweat they produce is of two different kinds, stress sweat and regular sweat. Hey, don't sweat the small stuff, huh? The sweat caused by stress has fatty acids and proteins in it. And the regular sweat is mostly made up of water, salt, and a tiny bit of other substances. It's actually possible to brush your teeth too thoroughly and hard. This can wear down the enamel and make your teeth super sensitive to cold and hot foods. If you walked in the same direction for 12 hours a day, you would need around 800 days to travel around the globe. And don't forget your rubber boots for the ocean parts. If your stomach acid made contact with your skin, it would most likely eat a hole in it, all because of hydrochloric acid. This type of acid is incredibly potent. It can easily dissolve some metals, for example, magnesium or zinc. Hydrochloric acid is the main component of the gastric acid your stomach produces. It protects your immune system and gets rid of viruses and bacteria in the food you eat. This acid also helps your body break down, digest, and absorb all kinds of nutrients, including proteins. Your lips look red because there is a great concentration of miniature blood capillaries right below the skin. Your pinky is a powerful little thing. Without it, your hand would lose a significant part of its power. Your index and middle fingers cooperate with your thumb to grab and pinch, and your pinky, together with your ring finger, provides grip strength. The fattest organ in your body is your brain. Fat makes up at least 60% of its dry weight. This quality got the brain to the Guinness World Records. The organ contains around 25% of your body's cholesterol, which is vital for the brain's well-being. So, is that where the term fathead comes from? Your skeletal cells never stop regenerating. That's why you get a new skeleton every 10 years or so. This process slows down with age, and the regeneration takes longer. That's one of the main reasons why bones become thinner. And there's a newly discovered type of brain cells crucial for visual search. They're called target cells. Without their help, you wouldn't be able to spot an acquaintance in a crowd or your dog in the park. Interestingly, target cells don't care what the thing you're searching for looks like. All they want to know is whether an object is your target or not. Hey, it's not picky. ay 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 about 6% of people can vibrate and rapidly shake their eyeballs back and forth. It doesn't mean something's not right with their eyes, it's just a unique trick they can perform. Good at parties, I suppose. Your bones are designed to be used a lot daily, and some of them can absorb two or even three times your body weight. That's impressive, but your teeth are even stronger. When you bite something, the teeth can exert incredible pressure, up to 200 pounds. By the way, the enamel is considered to be part of your skeletal system. Your stomach has a pretty incredible capacity, being able to hold up to half a gallon of liquid, a whole large bottle of Coke. 
it's pretty hard to estimate how much hard food you can squeeze into your stomach since the food is processed with your teeth before it gets inside. There's definitely not enough room for a turkey, but a good-sized chicken will probably fit it. Whenever you rotate your hand, the bones inside it actually intersect. Grab your hand and verify it. Yeah, not very useful. Now, show me where your stomach is. If you're pointing at your tummy, sorry, but it's wrong. It's up here, hidden between your ribs. Fun fact about bones. You know that your body is about 60% water, right? What's new here is that your bones are in this too. About 25% of the human bone mass is made up of water. Scientists believe that the appendix isn't here to stay. Nobody really knows why we need it, but some researchers claim it helped our ancestors process the tree bark they were eating. As it's no longer part of our daily diet, the appendix can disappear from our bodies without any consequences. A human eye has some resemblance to a car engine. They both need various liquids to perform properly. An engine needs gasoline, and an eye needs tears. In order to work well, the tears should be thoroughly distributed all over the eye. That's why we blink up to 20,000 times a day. So a lid is a bit of a windshield washer. Almost all of our body is covered with hairs, even if we don't notice them. They grow even in the belly button. Their purpose is to catch lint. The only part of the human body that doesn't get any nutrients from blood is the cornea of the eye. Instead, it's fed by tears and fluid in the front of your eyes. If you never knew you had a personal bodyguard, look deeper. Your liver is your security guard, protecting you from toxins and many other things you don't want to have. It's also pretty indestructible and can even regenerate. When you blush, it means there's an increased blood flow in your body. Not only do your cheeks get somewhat red, but your stomach lining too. It's because it has plenty of blood vessels, and when there's more blood than usual, it turns red. Only about 43% of you is actually you. You're over 50% tiny little creatures that mainly live in your gut and other body parts without ever leaving it. Still, even though your own cells are fewer than microbial ones, there are, on average, about 100 trillion of them in you. Let's count them. You start. Your stomach has a lining replaced every 3-4 to four days. That's done to stop it from eating itself. The digestive acids we've got can be pretty damaging. One thing that surely rests while you're sleeping is your nose. You just won't smell anything nasty in your sleep. The thing is that your sense of smell basically deactivates at night. If there's some really terrible smell in your bedroom, you won't even be bothered. We can accidentally digest small objects, such as plastic items, glass, coins, and many other small objects. They pass their way through the digestive tract within 48 hours. Really, just trust me on this one. You have better things to do. Scientists used to believe we could distinguish about 10,000 smells. Nope. Recent research showed that people were able to distinguish more than a trillion smells. We also remember them better than anything else, and smells can even evoke some distant memories. We can digest tiny quantities of plastic, but the human digestive system can't really bear grass. Grazing animals have special teeth and several stomachs to process raw leaves and grass, while we have none of that stuff. But don't feel bad! Among mammals, only humans can always walk on two hind limbs and keep that posture for their entire lives. You might object that kangaroos or gorillas move in the same way, but the roos use their tail as a third leg, and gorillas use the help of their long arms to keep balance. The stomach is the most important defender of the immune system. Hydrochloric acid in our stomach kills dangerous food toxins, viruses, and bacteria that get in there with the food you eat. This acid can digest even the stomach itself, but the mucous membrane protects it. Body fat isn't just a nuisance. It acts as insulation material, energy reserve, and shock absorber. Your body sends the most fat into your waist region because that's where your internal organs are. If something happens to you, this layer of fat might as well protect your vitals from irreparable damage. We've got two really fast muscles. They control the eyelid closing. These are the fastest muscles in our body. Eyes are fragile and need protection. That's why, when the reflex is triggered, these muscles shut the eyes within about 100 milliseconds. That's not more than 0.1 second. We recognize only purple-blue, green-yellow, and yellow-red colors. Everything else is a combination of these three. 
it's impossible to calculate how many of these combinations the human eye sees because every person has slight visual differences, but it's about 1 million combinations on average. Now, even if you brush your teeth twice a day and never forget about mouth wine, your mouth still stays one of the dirtiest parts of the human body. Ew. Millions of bacteria live inside it. The good news is that most of these bacteria are good for the body and protect it from bad bacteria and viruses. The second dirtiest place is the belly button, and it's probably because it's the first ignored place. The thing is, we don't really use them after we're born, so this forlorn area accumulates all kinds of germs, sweat, and dirt. The belly button has over 2,300 bacterial species, and it does need extra attention. You think you owe your strong handshake to all your strength workouts? Well, you're more likely to owe it to your pinky. (laughs) Just kidding. Anyway, a pinky is the strongest finger out there. This humble finger is responsible for 50% of your hand strength. Still, the most used finger is the thumb. It takes to itself 40% of the hand's action. Well, it probably makes it the most important finger, too. Two more humble helpers are your toes that carry about 40% of your weight. If you've ever heard that humans don't really need their toes, don't believe it. They're also the main pushers when you walk. Tomatoes have more genes than humans. This shouldn't concern you, though, because it's not the number of genes that matters, but the complexity of their connections. Nails don't only help us catch random objects and peel the stickers off. If you didn't have a rigid structure against which to press, you wouldn't be able to judge how firmly to hold anything. Our hair color is easily explained by genes. There are not more than 2% of people with naturally red hair. They're followed by blondes, about 3%, and all the varieties of brown shades, only about 11%. The vast majority goes to black hair, including very dark brown. Yeah, your hair can stop growing at a certain length. A hair usually grows from 2 to 7 years, so usually it doesn't exceed 42 inches. Well, tell that to this gal from China who broke all the hair records with the longest hair ever. In 2004, her hair was 18 feet, 5 and a half inches long. Rapunzel, where have you been, girl? When we laugh, think, look at something, dream, move, or do some other activity with our body, small electrical and chemical signals run between neurons along those connections. Our brain is always active, sometimes even more when we're sleeping than when we're awake. And by that, neurons make and send more information than all the phones in the whole world. You're sitting somewhere outside, and an insect lands on your leg. Your skin has sensory neurons, and they quickly send the message to your brain at an impressive speed, 150 miles per hour. The brain sends back the message to your leg to shake the insect off very fast, and the speed that information travels is even bigger, 200 miles per hour. Now, toenails grow around four times slower than your fingernails. This happens because we do more things with our hands compared to feet which is why we cause more trauma to our fingernails. Now, there's a high possibility your right hand has different types of microbes than the left one. This happens because they cover our skin from head to toe, and their variety depends on our skin thickness, humidity, temperature, texture, and chemistry, which can change as we use our right and left hands in different ways. Our nails and hair are made of keratin, which is a material we find in certain body parts of some other animals as well. For instance, claws, hooves, horns, wool, fur, feathers, beaks, turtle shells, and porcupine quills. Our body is made of stardust. Really? The more complex elements in our body can only come about through supernovas. The first stars were just gassy lumps that were drawn together and, at some point, started the process of combustion. This finally led to a nuclear reaction in its center. Stars that were there right after the Big Bang were over 50 times bigger than our Sun is now. Inside of them, there was a constant process of making the elements, and those large stars were burning their fuel faster. Most of the elements in the human body were formed in those stars over billions of years. So you could realistically say that part of you is immortal. Cool, huh? Well, here's some facts you'll find hard to digest. (laughs) Your stomach has a pretty incredible capacity. Being able to hold up to half a gallon of liquids, that's a whole large bottle of Coke. It's pretty hard to estimate how much hard food you can eat because it's processed with your teeth before it gets to your stomach. 
there's definitely not enough room for a turkey, but a good-sized chicken would probably fit in it. If you were asked where your stomach was, you would probably point your tummy. Sorry, that's wrong. It's actually up here, hidden in between your ribs. Scientists believe that the appendix will disappear eventually. Nobody really knows why we need it, but some researchers claim it might have existed to help our ancestors digest tree bark. Because it's no longer part of our daily diet, the appendix isn't necessary and can disappear from our bodies without any consequences. The appendix isn't the only obsolete part of our body. Wisdom teeth aren't that useful either. Yeah, they used to come in handy whenever our ancestors lost some of their teeth, but the only thing they help us lose now is the money we spend extracting them. Almost all of our body is covered with hairs, even if we don't notice them. They grow even in the belly button. Their purpose is to catch lint. Check it out. See? Your liver acts as your own personal bodyguard, protecting you from toxins and many other things you don't want hanging around in your body. It's also pretty indestructible and can even regenerate. Only about 43% of you is actually you. Over 50% of the cells in your body belong to tiny little creatures that mainly live in your gut. Still, even though your own cells are fewer than microbial ones, there are, on average, about 100 trillion of them in you. See? You're not alone. With this in mind, your own genes are less than half of what you really consist of. If you take all the microbes dwelling within your body and count their genes, you'll find between 2 to 20 million. If you sleep, it doesn't mean all of your body sleeps. In fact, sometimes your brain has to work even harder when you're asleep. It needs to process tons of information, and reports usually take a lot of time. The nose definitely gets a good rest while you're sleeping. Amazingly, your sense of smell basically deactivates at night. You wouldn't even be bothered if there was a really terrible smell in your bedroom. No comment. The nose is probably one of the most underappreciated parts of the body. We wouldn't even be able to enjoy eating without it. About 80% of the taste of any food is thanks to the nose and its ability to recognize odors. If you hold your nose while eating, you will taste almost nothing. With no sense of smell, you're likely to recognize food mostly by texture. So an onion might seem no different than a big refreshing apple. Scientists used to believe we could distinguish about 10,000 smells, but they were wrong. Recent research showed that people are actually able to distinguish between more than a trillion smells. We also remember them better than anything else, and smells can even evoke some distant memories. Your nose just doesn't help you breathe and catch odors. It filters the air for sensitive throats and lungs. If we inhale dry air, the nose moistens it, cools it, and heats it if it's necessary. Also, the nose cleans the air of dirt. When you age, your brain is gradually reducing in size. By age 75, it's much smaller than at 30, and it starts shrinking by the age of 40. It happens to everyone and doesn't affect your mental strength in any way. Our brain can store only 7 bits in its short-term memory. Don't even try to compare your brain with a phone capacity. Not even the one you had back in 2005. That's why you can't even learn a phone number by heart. Our short-term memory functions just like a chalkboard. You can get some information, but sooner or later, you run out of space. To check your working memory capacity, try this test. Ask a friend to write a list of 10 words and read it to you. Most people recall seven or fewer items from that list. Your RAM, or working memory, is an essential thing that we need to perform almost any everyday activity, including basic conversations, surfing the net, and even petting your dog. Our strongest and emotional memories are often fake. The central memory gives us the confidence to believe that we remember everything, even though most of the details are made up in our heads. Not only your brain shrinks as you get older, you too shrink dramatically. The bones get more brittle, the backbone gets compressed. A similar thing happens when you rest at night. Your bones kind of relax too. Because of this, you wake up taller in the mornings than you are at the end of the day. Among mammals, only humans can walk on two legs for their entire lives. You might think that kangaroos or gorillas move in the same way, But kangaroos use their tail as a third leg, 
and gorillas use their long arms to keep balance. Your bones take part in metabolism too. Since they mostly consist of calcium, when there's not enough of this element in your blood, bones start shedding it into the bloodstream, balancing your body. The same reaction works in reverse, too. When there's too much calcium in your blood, it goes into the bones to be stored for later. The only bone to have a sense of humor in your body is inside your upper arm. That's why it's called the humerus. Okay, I made that one up. Moving along. The only bones that never grow are found in our ears. We can hear thanks to these tiny bones because they have adapted to transmit sound vibrations. Doctors call them the oscular chain. One of these hearing bones, the stapes, is the smallest bone in your entire body. It's no larger than a grain of rice. Our height, shape of our body, and skin color depend a lot on where our ancestors used to live. But we can adapt to new conditions even within our own lifespan. For example, if you move from plains to the mountains, you'll eventually develop more red blood cells to compensate for the lack of oxygen. And naturally, if you move from a colder climate to a hotter and sunnier one, your skin will get darker to adapt. Our lifespan is programmed within ourselves. They constantly renew and divide, but they have a sort of internal timer that stops at some point. Some cells also stop reproducing sooner than others. On average, cells cease dividing when we reach the age of 100. That means if we could find a way to trick ourselves into turning off the timer, we could potentially live forever. Body fat isn't just a nuisance. It acts as insulation material, energy reserve, and shock absorber. Your body sends the most fat into your waist region because that's where your internal organs are. If something happens to you, this layer of fat might protect your vitals from irreparable damage. Heads up! Your skull isn't a single bone. It actually consists of 28 different bones, many of which are fused together to protect your brain. The mandible, or the lower jaw, is the only skull bone that isn't fixed to the bone around it. It's attached with connective tissues and muscles. This is what makes it so mobile. You can move it in any direction you like. You see, the strongest muscles in your body aren't in your arms or legs. They're in your head. The masseter is the main muscle responsible for chewing, and it needs to be the strongest for you to eat normally. And you know those muscles that allow you to move your ears? Those are temporalis, located above your temples. They also help you chew your food. Now, we've got two really fast muscles. They control the eyelid closing. In fact, they're the fastest muscles in our body. Eyes are fragile and need protection, so the reflex that protects them needs to be as fast as lightning. These muscles can shut the eyelids in less than a tenth of a second. People with double-jointed thumbs can bend them backward. It looks super unusual, and very few people can do it. Still, it's totally okay. Even though it looks painful, it actually doesn't hurt at all for someone with a double-jointed thumb. Now, we recognize only purple-blue, green-yellow, and yellow-red colors. Everything else is a combination of these three. It's impossible to calculate how many of these combinations the human eye sees, because every single person has slight vision differences. But it's about 1 million combinations on average. You see? 